While mindfulness-based practices like meditation can be great for helping to calm the nervous system, the approach that we're taking here is far more targeted, meaning that you'll be able to incrementally build up a tolerance to your current real-world triggers, and in a relatively short period of time, say three to six months, effectively, you'll be able to desensitize yourself from them so that they no longer lead to the maladaptive stress response in the first place. Many long-term meditators, myself included, have found that even with years or decades of dedicated practice, that sense of calm, peace, and well-being often remains on the meditation cushion, and it can elude us once we try and enter the context of everyday life. The key that's missing, and what this program is meant to provide, is a systematic protocol for trigger-specific conditioning. So here's an example of how I applied this myself and a result that I got. I remember when I first got back into full-time work, I was working in a very noisy office in Times Square, and one of the things that really triggered this stress response in me was the simple ringing of the phone in my office. Every time the phone rang, I would find myself going into a mini panic attack because I just would anticipate a negative outcome. Maybe someone asking a question I didn't know how to answer or a customer service issue, whatever it might be. It just triggered a response just from the sound of that phone. So. After a few weeks of realizing this, I decided that I was going to make a simple rule for myself. Rather than answering the phone in that agitated state, I would hear the phone ring, take a pause, take a breath, there's that one deep breath, drop my shoulders into a relaxed position, put a smile on my face, and then I would answer the phone. So I inserted that little pause with a different response, and I just practiced this over and over again. Rather than getting super agitated by the phone, I saw this as a practice opportunity. Every time that phone rang, I would just get another chance to practice that new response. Take a beat, take a breath, relax, smile, and pick up the phone. After about a week and a half, here's the interesting thing. Not only did I not have that initial panic response to the ringing phone, but instead, Every time the phone rang, no joke here, I actually got a relaxation response. As soon as I heard that ringing phone, a smile would come to my face, my shoulders would drop down, I would breathe more deeply, and then I would go to pick up the phone. So by simply doing these exercises, not only are you addressing your real world concerns or real world triggers, you can actually change your response to them in real time, which results in a new default response. So the great thing about this neuroplasticity type of training is that once those new pathways are built, once they're sort of installed, then you don't have to go back and keep doing it and keep doing it. That becomes your new response. So while meditation and mindfulness can help to calm the overall stress response, the goal and function of neuroplasticity is to retrain the brain not to produce that response in the first place. While meditation can be wonderful to have as a lifelong practice, when it comes to stopping these vicious cycles of limbic system loops, what we need really is efficiency. We need that right tool in the right place. So the main difference is that neuroplasticity isn't a spiritual practice. It's a neurocognitive tool aimed at reestablishing the brain as the chief choreographer, restoring homeostasis, and liberating energy to heal your body and function your best and basically feel like yourself again. Neuroplasticity has now even been clinically shown in a recent study that's been peer-reviewed and published in the Journal of Clinical Medicine to be able to reduce anxiety by 42%, reduce depression by 45%, and increase this overall sense of vitality and well-being by 47%. Best of all, because the steps involved in neuroplasticity are systematic and repeatable, these awesome results are widely attainable with just a bit of commitment and consistency.